Hello, fellow preppers. Tis I, the rumpled one. You know, there's a lot of people talking about prepping now. Uh, the Doomsday Prepper show on National Geographic may have something to do with it. And there's quite a big movement on the internet and YouTube in particular. A lot of people posting videos. And, um, you know, there's blogs out there. And people even writing books. I just want to say to the new preppers, um, just take it easy, don't get overwhelmed, and basically just pause. Don't, don't rush into things. Now, of course, you should prep, but, you know, a lot of people go out there, they run out there and they buy all this gear. You don't need to do that. Let's just use some common sense. Like I said, just take a pause, slow down, think things through. For example, your food storage. See what you have. Look at your pantry. See where you're lacking, if you're lacking. And then, you know, fill in the missing pieces. For example, uh, look up on the internet spices. Because when you go to the store, you can buy spices that really aren't spices. Educate yourself. Get real spices because you can pay money and get something that looks like a spice that's all this stuff mixed in. Whereas if you got the, the actual spices, you can then make your own. It'll be cheaper in the long run and better for you because you don't need all that extra added stuff. You know, most of those names you can't even pronounce chemicals, you know, for coloring and flavoring. You don't need that junk. So, look at your preps, or look at your pantry, and say, okay, I'm thinking about this as a prepper. But don't just go run out to the grocery store and buy everything. No. Slow down. Pause. Think it through. See what's on sale. You make a list of what you need to fill in the holes. Make another list of things that you know you're going to use on a regular recurring basis. Look at the sale ads. See what's on sale. And that's when you go and prep. Okay? You don't need to go out and buy MREs. You really don't. You know, you don't have to get these special, you know, $89, five or six gallon prep buckets. You don't have to do that. Now, could you do it? Sure. Once again, if you do something to prep, to prep I salute you. But, just pause, think it through, because you don't have to rush out and do all these things. You know, everything you do, just pause, think it through, and see what you can do to fill in the holes that you might have. Your car, for example, do you do monthly maintenance or quarterly maintenance or annual maintenance? Okay, you know you need oil, right? You know you're going to probably need antifreeze. Might need spark plugs. So you know these, you need these things. So once again, look at your sale ads, and when what you need is on sale, that's when you buy it. You know, this is all part of the alpha strategy, okay? Because then, you know, a couple months down the road, you have them. They're, they're part of your preps. You know, you don't have to go out and buy you know, $100 flashlights and $200 whatever bags to carry stuff in. You don't need to do that. Chances are, you might come across some of this stuff for free. That's part of prepping. Okay? Also, think about things that you normally don't think about. And that's where you can figure out what you need to do to prep. For example, you walk into the room, you flip on the light. Well, think about it. What if you flip on the light and it doesn't work? Okay, maybe you do need a flashlight if you don't have one. Or maybe you have a flashlight, but the batteries are dead. So this is what you need to do. Maybe you have candles, maybe you don't. you got to turn on the heater. Think about it. If the heater doesn't work, how will you stay warm? These are the kind of things that will that'll, that'll get your mind going 
in the direction of prepping. Not just running out there, throwing money, instead of using your brain. So, like I said, pause, think it through. But no matter what, if you fail to prepare, you're preparing to fail.